I see a lot of pediatric patients here. I see a lot of residual deformities. In the past, we've done uh, clinics and, and, and we've done uh, medical missions in Mexico and other countries where we've gone and taken care of these uh, kids and uh, peds specifically with deformities and we've been able to really help them. That's been both rewarding and also it, it adds to the surgical training experience that I've had in the past. And we bring that to New Mexico in such that I'll see second opinions, I see consults from both pediatricians and other surgically trained doctors that may not have necessarily the expertise in the pediatric patient. And that allows me to really offer a wide variety of care to them. But I also take, I also take care of both peds and then pediatrics and then also uh, geriatric patients. The patient that all the way until in, the end of their life there is some amount of pain relief. There is some treatment that can be offered to make life a little bit better from either deformity or arthritis or you know, an injury, regardless of the, the level of activity that you have. Whether your biggest trip in the, in the day is a, a trip around the mall or a trip around Walmart, or whether you know, your level of activity is playing uh, you know, four quarters of, of Division I basketball. You really have to tailor your, your treatment and your management, and I see all of those patients. Um, my primary focus is really reconstructive surgery. I take a delight in, in helping people with problems that everybody else says, you know, that you can't do anything for this, it can't be fixed, or you just have to live with the pain. And I don't think that that's a, a good response for people. I, I, I think there al always is something that we can do to make your pain better. It may not always be surgery, it may be something in between, and that's, that's something important also. I think always uh, the conservative approach is, is first. But I think more importantly is that you treat every patient as if they were a family member, a family member that you like. And so if you treat every patient how you would want to be treated, that makes it very easy. The decisions on whether or not to have a surgery, would I have the surgery? You know, sometimes it's, it's an in-betweener. It, it may be a condition where you don't necessarily want to have surgery and you may be able to put it off for a while, but if the outcome is eventually going to be surgery, then you can delay it, but that's a discussion to have. It needs to be tailored towards each patient, but I would say conservative is always best first, and then if it's not going to be improved with conservative measures, and there are many conditions that are not improved with just time or therapy, and so they need surgery, and, and so that's, it's a tailored approach to each patient both surgical and conservative. We work very closely with many of the physical therapists. Uh, we work uh, hand in hand with them, uh, both with written and also uh, verbal communication. The other thing that we do is we have specific programs set up with our patients, specific protocols for both outpatient physical therapy immediately after surgery. We also have specific protocols for, for instance, a total ankle joint replacement or a lateral ankle ligament reconstruction or a fusion. So we have specific protocols that we work with physical therapists on, um, tailored towards that particular surgery and also that particular patient. And that helps, I think, with their, an improved outcome overall. I will do anywhere between 1,500 and, and 2,500 procedures a year. Surgical cases and bigger complex cases will we'll do anywhere between 100 and 200 ankle arthroscopies a year. Uh, we do many, many joint replacements a year, numerous. I do uh, many fractures every year, uh, hundreds of fractures every year that we fix. We'll fix hundreds of bunion deformities, hundreds of other smaller uh, deformities in the toes and in the forefoot. Tarsal metatarsal joint fractures or other common sports injuries, we will also treat uh, hundreds of those every year. There's uh, many benefits in having a surgery center right next door to our clinic. Um, we're able to get patients in quicker. We're able to uh, make the most uh, time efficient, uh, both on the diagnostic side, but also on the surgical side of things. We uh, waste less time that, uh, much less time is spent in between cases and also uh, being able to work with the same people and the same surgical team again and again 
makes us really top notch. We have uh, some of the best surgical staff. We have some of the best anesthesia providers in, in not just the state, but in the country. We have some of the best um, support staff that, that you can find at Southern New Mexico Surgery Center specifically and in some of the other centers that we operate at. At Southern New Mexico Surgery Center, we have uh, received multiple awards for excellence in both patient care and quality. Out of, uh, out of over 500 centers, we've been at the top five centers in the United States um, for the, about the last seven or eight years in a row. And uh, that, that really has set us apart. We, we're different than all of the other places that you go. And we bring that to, to Southern New Mexico.